What is up, YouTube? Uh, Hall's Gaber here coming at you with a quick video. I'm gonna show you how to clean Nike Roshi runs. If you have any dirt marks or scuffs or anything in the midsole, or if you just wanna clean the upper. Like mine, mine is clean because it's obviously it's black, but if you have any other colors like red, blue, or anything, you might wanna clean it. Alright, so. This is the materials you're gonna need your shoes, your Nike Roshi runs, um, any type of eraser. This is a shoe eraser, mainly for shoes. I bought it at Chic, I believe. Or you could just use any pencil eraser. And you're gonna need a toothbrush to wipe off the little pieces of eraser off your Roshi run. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to grab either eraser, your shoe eraser, or your shoe, uh, your pencil eraser, and you want to just erase the scuffs, the dirt on the midsole. You can even do your outsole if you want, but I don't really care. All around the shoe. you can see that the little pieces of erasers and it kind of goes to your mesh too so you want to grab your toothbrush and you want to brush them away you could also blow them away but for the mesh you have to have like a little brush pretty much it of how you um, clean your midsole if you want to do your outsole all you basically need is just an eraser and erase away now I'm gonna show you how to clean after clean your whole Roshi run okay so when you're cleaning your um, Roshi run um, first first off you want to clean your midsole with the eraser just cuz when you wash it it's mainly just for the mesh but it does also wash the midsole, but you know, little scuffs you might they might not come out, but with the eraser it will. So make sure to um, erase away first. So when you actually want to clean it, either you want to clean it because they're dirty, kind of smelly, or just pretty old. And it also cleans the outsole. And pretty much when you wash them, they come pretty much brand new. So what you want to do? is before you wash them you want to take out the shoelaces I'm not going to take the shoelaces because I'm kind of lazy to put them back on but you take out the shoelaces you also take out the insole you also take out the insert uh, and you should basically have just a shoe without shoelaces and no insole what you want to do next is you want to have a zippered pillowcase to put in um, I don't have a zippered pillowcase but I have a little sack pack Basically what you want, if you either have a, a separate pillowcase, you want to put it in without shoelaces or insole and you want to put it in, separate it up and basically put it in the washer and I'll show you how. But in my case, you can use um, this. It's basically like a little sack and you close it. So you just want to open it. And again, I'm going to say it again. You want to take out the laces and the insole. And also, first, first uh, erase the scuffs or anything on the midsole. So let me just put this inside. Obviously, you need the other shoe, but I don't want to get my other shoe. I'm just showing this one as an example. Let me put this right. Here. Basically, you just want to put the shoe inside. Both shoes without shoelaces or insoles again. Close it up. So basically you're gonna have this. Um, next up, you just wanna open your washer. Put that inside. You don't wanna put no um, fabric softener or anything. 
and I'm not you what you want to do is you want to put soap up to about right here about right my finger is you see how big the cup is not that much detergent um, so after you do that you want to put you make sure it's in cool because you don't want to shrink your rugies and that's pretty much it if you don't have fabric soft and put in it and just put in light or you can just put quick rinse and that's pretty much it so you after they come out you know just open it get your bag out take the roshis out after that you want to do not put them in the dryer they will mess up they're gonna when you take them out they're gonna be wet all nice and clean though uh, and you want to air dry them just put them outside for about like two four hours they should be four to five hours they should be uh, dry so basically take out the shoelaces and sole on both shoes you want to put it in a little sack or zipper pillowcase you put them inside put this much see the how big the cup is this much of soap uh, laundry detergent and you want to put the setting you want to put cold and you want to put a quick rinse or just light or whatever your machine has after that you just take them out and you air dry them do not again do not put them in the washer because you will fuck up your mesh and even your swoosh so that's pretty much it comment i subscribe youtube if you have any questions at all uh comment Anyway, comment, subscribe, and peace. Go check out my Roshi reviews and my other videos.